what's up? My name's Catherine and welcome back to my channel. I don't have a cute or clever intro into this because it's just kind of a weird situation. We're going to be deep diving into Sophia Ann Caruso's abrupt exit from Beetlejuice the Musical. Question of the day, what are your thoughts on this situation of Sophia leaving Beetlejuice? Did you see it coming? Did you not know that she left? Because a lot of people didn't know that she left because it happened pretty suddenly. Do you have conspiracy theories or do you think this whole thing is just getting blown way out of proportion? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So if you haven't heard, Sophia Ann Caruso, who originated the role of Lydia Dietz in the Broadway production of Beetlejuice, has abruptly left the production. Now this comes as a massive shock to fans, not the fact that she left, but the manner in which she left. Two days ago, she posted this Instagram story. If you planned tickets to see me, please note that Wednesday Eve 19th was my last performance of Beetlejuice, I will not be doing any future performances for it. She removed the Instagram story a few hours later, but news outlets later confirmed that it was true, citing that she had used her contractual out to pursue her television career. It was then announced that Presley Ryan would take over the role in the meantime, with a permanent replacement to be announced shortly. Now generally, this would make sense and it wouldn't be that weird of an announcement. Beetlejuice is facing financial troubles and housing problems. This has been a very loud, ongoing debate and debate debacle, which if you don't know what I'm talking about with Beetlejuice and their housing issues, I'll link to videos down below where I cover and explain that. But basically, if Beetlejuice doesn't make a very costly switch to a new theater, it will be closing this June. So it's not unusual that everyone working on the show would begin to look for employment opportunities elsewhere. It is currently pilot season, which if you don't know what that is, it's the window of time where potential TV shows get shot and tested out. So maybe Sophia Ann Caruso received a deal she couldn't refuse. Maybe we'll find out some more info soon and we'll get an exciting announcement from her. But in the meantime, let's discuss and dive a little deeper. Usually when an actor plans to leave a show, there's some pretty substantial notice and a public announcement. This is done primarily for the fans and to help boost ticket sales. You know, a lot of theater goers become fans of specific actors and definitely want to try to catch them a few more times in that performance before they leave a production. Beetlejuice is kind of known for its hardcore fan base, so it seems a little odd to me that they wouldn't announce that Sophia was leaving. Generally, when an actor leaves their show, it's because their contract has ended and either they, the actor, or the show has decided not to renew that contract. Beetlejuice the Musical is still fighting to recoup its initial investment. And that's something that financial analysts don't believe is possible by its tentative June closing date. I mention all of that to say, I don't think the Beetlejuice team knew that Sophia was leaving or maybe they weren't allowed to say that she was leaving. As the press release states, Sophia used a contractual out to exit her contract early to pursue television opportunities. Additionally, there have been rumors that there's more to this story. Now, because we don't have any substantial evidence to back up those rumors, I think it's kind of irresponsible and hurtful for me to repeat them, but I will agree that it's pretty weird that there wasn't a public send off for Sophia. Maybe they celebrated in private, but when Rob McClure, the original Adam, exited the production, he received a grand send off. You know, there was substantial notice, there was a farewell speech, he received flowers, social media posts, posts well wishes. Also, all of the press releases regarding her leaving the show sound very professional, to the point, and lawyerly. Am I Elle Woodsy? I'd love to hear your opinions on the matter in the comments down below. Do you think this situation is weird or do you think it's totally normal? Who do you want to see as the next Lydia in Beetlejuice the Musical on Broadway? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe, join the musical theater internet cult. Yeah, we're an internet cult. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.